Happy 4th of July to all the Americans out there, but guess what? I doubt there's any Americans tuning in to this video. But anyway, let's dive into it. And we've got Kyogo Farahashi, and it's good news for Celtic fans, because guess what? He signed a four-year deal, which pretty much, I would say, completely rules him out of a move this summer. Because you just do not get it in football where someone signs a new deal and then leaves. If someone can come up with one example, I'd love to know, but... I'm sure there is in the history of football, but, you know, it is kind of unheard of. Of course, Yota, you know, signed last season for Celtic. He had four years left on his deal, left yesterday. So it's not like, oh, he signed a big deal. That's Kyogo going to stay till, what, 2027? It doesn't really work like that. Um, I wouldn't really be surprised if he does go next season. Or even January, I, I, it could happen. If he can, if Kyogo bangs in, like, 20 goals, 25 goals before January, or during January, whatever... There's going to be teams that are going to be interested in Kyogo, absolutely. And nothing is uh, disputing that. But uh, we take him up to he's about, what, 32, 33? Um, he'd be, yeah, it's 32, 33. I think Kyogo would still be a really uh, good player at that age. Age is just a number. Damn it, there's no confirmation about how much he's on a week. But I'm going to assume four-year deal, the amount of goals he's been scoring, he's going to be absolutely getting a massive massive pay uh, pay rise and uh, Rogers described extending the deal for an important player as brilliant news for the club Kyogo has thrived since he arrived in Scottish football and has shown his outstanding qualities said the Northern Irishman who is back at Celtic after leaving the club to join Leicester City in 2019 he is an exciting player who is hungry to bring more success to our club he's a great mentality and is an unbelievable talent so yeah it's going to be looking forward to uh, seeing what happens next? Are Celtic going to spend money? Or are they going to flop in this transfer window? Because even the most... Like, obviously there's bias, you know, Celtic fans are never going to admit this. But it's not been a good window for Celtic, man. It, it really hasn't. Now, they, they lost Dange, right? They brought in Rodgers, which... I think it's a it's a like-for-like -like replacement. I don't think there's much in it, personally. I'm not expecting Celtic to do worse. I'm not expecting them to do much better. I feel like he's just going to come in and fit like a new glove. Um, they've lost Yota. Moyes retired. Not, not that Moyes is a massive part. Uh, there was a risk of Kyogo going, but that's now good. And they've also a risk of Hatati going. And a few other players, I guess, you could throw in there while you're at it. Star, uh, Starfield, etc., etc. Maybe Carter Fickers, maybe Angel want him back at Tottenham. And then you look at the brought in. They've brought in home. They brought in Marco. Two all right signings, but if you look at Rangers, I feel like Rangers just had a much better window. Um, but again, Rangers need it too, so it's not like Celtic need it to go out and sign eight players. But it's going to be interesting to see you guys come the end of uh, the end of August, start of September, who's had the better window then and how many other players have left. Because I feel like Rangers aren't going to lose any like key players that Beal wants. If Rangers are going to lose players, it's going to be players that are dead wood already to them. But I can still see Celtic losing the likes of a Carter Fickers and a Tati and O'Reilly um, and whoever else you want to throw in the, the uh, occasion. But anyway, moving on to another bit of news. And it is involving Lila Bada. And apparently, it's no Liverpool that are considering a move for him. It's Sporting Lisbon. And it says here it will be expect it to happen especially if Sporting Lisbon lose Marcus Edwards who is attracting interest from a number of Premier League clubs so if they lose their player they'll want Celtic player uh, Lee Labada but there's not really much more to it other than that we've also got uh, Benjamin Seagurst who looks like he's planning a move to Australia uh, because he met his uh, current partner Brittany there um, as Celtic were in an Australian tour there last summer so yeah I think he wants to be with his missus, which is fair enough. And you know what? He's not getting a fucking game at Celtic, so he may as well go to Australia and live happily ever after. But anyway, guys, that's it for Fog Football. Back later, Serial Dessers, pretty much any any minute now. Rangers normally do it at four. Four o'clock, we'll see you at four.